to the Model Works and to a new project. I, uh, I hope everyone has uh, had a good, uh, good start to the work week. I wanted to, uh, before I get into the project, I wanted to, to say a couple things about the, <coughs> the box stock community bill. First of all, uh, I apologize to all my subs and especially to Cliff, to you, man. Uh, as I said, I just every time I seemed like I would get, you know, ready to, to make some progress on the, on the bill, uh, something would come up. This is our uh, barbecue catering season kind of and we've been uh, we've been kind of working up some deals for the upcoming summer and, and this that and the other and, uh, just trying to uh, you know trying to get some things lined up uh, in, in that uh, on that side of things make a little extra money or what have you that's kind of our other hobby quote unquote I guess if you will we do the uh, we are members of the KCBS Pro Barbecue Tour, and we we haven't competed in a couple of years just because my wife has some back problems and, and this, that, and the other. And that uh, that part of, of of the sport, I guess, if you will, is, is extremely labor intensive, and it's it's hard physically on, on her. And so we we've kind of backed off of the competition part of it and, and just kind of concentrated on catering. Uh, pretty much so uh, but anyway uh, we had that and then there's been some I got some new employees that report to me and, and I've been you know kind of tied up with that and, and getting you know evaluations done and this that and the other so at any rate uh, I wanted to apologize Cliff why you know I, I, just my tardiness in general just I, you know I didn't think it was ever going to be this long two months getting it done and, and uh, I'm going to try I won't say it won't ever happen again, but I won't try to try to see to it that it doesn't happen again. So anyway, uh, and one other thing I wanted to say, thank you to all of you who have left, you know, super nice comments and kind words in response to the uh, to the to the build itself, the '68 Roadrunner. It came out, you know, really nice. I thought myself, and I was very pleased with it. And uh, in that, along that vein, uh, I had a subscriber send me an email uh, asking about the clear coat and when I tried to reply back to it, his name's Mike, I won't call his last name, uh, hoping he's watching, uh, he'll know who he is, when uh, he asked me about the clear coat, when I tried to respond, it kept coming back as undeliverable, saying that, uh, Mike, on your end, that you had you were set up only to, re to receive emails from certain email addresses and obviously I'm not one of them so it would not accept it and he kept sending it back so I tried like two or three times so Mike I'm, I'm going to answer your question here and I hope you're watching uh, he was asking about the uh, I shot this uh, box stop bill with enamel clear testers enamel gloss clear and I cut it with lacquer thinner and he was asking uh, you know how I, how much thinner to gloss clear I did. Uh, so I I thought I would show him kind of what uh, what the bottle looks like, and, and he was asking about that. So uh, this is what this is what I cleared it with. This is the model, uh, Tester's Model Master Enamel Gloss Clear. Uh, and no, this is not an old bottle of it. This is what it looks like on the shelf, brand new. It's kind of it's kind of yellow. It's very thick and. We'll have to either thin it with, uh, you know, enamel thinner, or as in my case, lacquer thinner. Now, what I did, I thin this two parts, uh, two to one. So, in other words, this jar, and then a half a jar of, of this. Uh, I put lacquer thinner into this jar halfway up, and mixed it together, and then shot it through my airbrush. I shot it at uh, 30 pounds. Uh, the only advice I would give you as far as what to be careful of and what to watch for and I'm, if, if there are others here that have used it yeah, feel free to you know to chime in you know in the comments or whatever uh, you have to be kind of careful about how far away from the object that you're clearing uh, how far away you're going to shoot uh, I have found out over the years just in trial and error that 
if you get much further away than four inches, you are inviting orange peel uh, greatly. Your chances of orange peel greatly uh, go up. I think you lose a little gloss. Some people may disagree with that. I've read some people that say, you know, one to one is probably better. And I have shot one to one. I actually think shooting their shooting the Model Master enamel paint with uh, lacquer thinner shot one to one, I believe, does make the paint gloss up better. I don't think that's the case for the clear. I actually like to shoot the clear coat uh, cut two to one, so two two parts clear to one part lacquer thinner. Uh, what what the lacquer thinner brings to the table, I think, with the clear coat, is that it pulls the as it sets and gases out. The lacquer thinner really pulls the uh, enamel clear down tight. It you don't have near as much. I don't think. Uh, room for orange peel as you do if you mix it with enamel thinner or uh, or something like that. So, uh, Mike, I hope you're watching. I, I hope that answers your question. Paint and clear, as a matter of fact, with this gun. This is the Master uh, G77 uh, double action uh, trigger gun. It's a it's pretty nice gun. Action, it, it's kind of misleading because this gun is not necessarily a double action in the aspect that you can. Uh, pull the trigger back part of the way and get air like you can with the TRM-1 and then uh, with the TR, well I'll show you, I've got the gun right here as a matter of fact. The TRM-1, uh, the difference is that with, you can shut your, uh, your uh, trigger guy, your trigger stop all the way down and this much of it is just air. So. When you're actually shooting paint or whatever, oops, this much of the trigger pull is, is strictly air, just like a, uh, a, a pin style double action would be pushing the trigger down for air. You can pull back this much to right there, and then that is your air. Any further back is paint. So. Can actually ease into the paint and get just a little paint, or you can pull it all the way back and get as much as you have your, uh, your master, master airbrush. You can't do that. It is a double action in that you have air control here and you have paint flow here. You can actually do both, but uh, you, can, you can shut it. You have to manually shut off your paint, and if you want to just shoot air. But anyway, that's what I shot that with. So I wanted to touch on that too and let him know that. Uh, that's what we shot the Roadrunner paint and the clear with. So, all right. Uh, moving on to the new project, we will be, as you probably have already figured out from the video opening, we will be uh, going drag racing uh, this project. We will be doing, well, I will be doing the uh, LA Hooker, uh, iconic funny car from the late 60s. Uh, through the 60s and early, early 70s, late 70s. Our back. donor project for this bill will be the uh, Ravel Motorsports uh, Hawaiian. The LA Hooker was uh, several different car makes. It was several different colors. It was a Vega. It was a full-size Dodge Charger. It was a Mini Charger, which is what I'll be building. It was a Ford Maverick at one point. It was a uh, Pinto, I believe, at one point. It was a Corvette. It was orange. It was blue. It was silver and blue. It was... Uh, I'm going to be using Go Mango uh, for my color. Uh, so, but, uh, and, and I'll talk more about some of the little uh, inside things about it, the history on it, as we, as we, I do updates on, on the build itself. So, uh, John, For actually, John Force's uncle and cous uh, uh, cousins were part of this. Uh, I'll be doing uh, some aftermarket stuff and adding fuel lines and uh, some, some plumbing and that that kind of thing. Whatever we can get away with under this uh, under this mini charger body. So that's what we're going to do. So I hope you hang around and uh, stick around and, and stay tuned for updates as, as they come about. I promise I won't be too much. Uh, before you see uh, another update, so I guess that's uh, that's all she wrote from here. So I will uh, let this be all of it for today. Uh, until I talk to you again, take care of one another. May God bless you and your family. 
Don't take any crap from anyone. See ya.